Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Eternal Darkness. We have found a secret passage. Let us go set through said secret passage. To more evil. Oh yeah! Ah, it's too, we're, it's, the sword's too big to swing around here. So we'll set you on fire. Set you on fire. Ha ha ha. Then finish you off. To gain sanity back. <gasps> you! <gasps> Door moves. Some guy walks through it. I wonder if that's the bishop. Another rune? Oh, I mean another Kodak. You want that? The strange thing here, it looks like a sword. Amongst the books on the table rests an ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. Now that's kind of contradicting yourself, being a scroll and paper. Alright, pick it up. Anthony has acquired the Enchant Item Spell Scroll. Um, thank you, game. Alright. So, this allows the player to cast spells that have been researched. I wouldn't call it research. Um, select this allows the player to assign the most blah blah blah. Though this function... Through this function, the player can examine what the spell means. Um, you can examine the spell with A. Uh, a torn scroll illustrated with a geometrical shape is accompanied by a small note. The note reads, that which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant items, item magic. Uh, the spell required. Oh, the spell requires the blah 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 runes. All right, we shall assign it with that. Yes, and we've assigned to up. Oh wait, blah blah blah. Don't care. Up. There we go. Uh, the magic meter is now the blue meter. And yes, we lose stuff when we use it. So, up on this. We now are a magician. We can repair stuff. Isn't this awesome? Repair the blue one. Hooray! We now have three fully functional urns. Uh, covered with anarchy, uh, uh, blah, arcane artifacts and texts. The stable reflects the unholy presence within the church. A seething pit of something evil. Uh, religious text of an unspoken nature, written in a language um, utterable, utterable only by monsters or corrupt humans. Also known as Scientology. Come on. More text? More text. Blah, blah, blah. What do we got here? He went through this door. Um, the bishop passed through the secret door. This has to be the way through. There has to be a way through it. Oh, it's slicing at it. Oh, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a place where we can put some urns. There we go. Aha! Uh, there are three... Uh, an iron plate in the floor is carved with three circular... Three curious circles. Um, dried splashes have murdered... It's pockmarked and blah blah blah. I don't care. You're looking kind of gray there, Anthony. You are now a gray man. Defender of justice and truth. However, I know this puzzle. It's a very easy puzzle. If you haven't figured it out. Water, um... Dunking the urn into the foul-smelling fountain, it's become filled to the brim with rank fluid. It is a lot heavier now, and... with with... Fortone. Green, green urn is full. Now time for the blue one. Same thing. It's also full. Now we go back. So the thing on the floor is actually a pressure plate. 
We haven't figured it out. So we need to put enough pressure on it to uh, get it to, get to sink. Um, although the urn appears to sit correctly in place on the pressure plate, it doesn't appear to be heavy enough. Although we're standing on it, so it kind of works. There we go. Doesn't appear heavy enough. But if we put three on there, that equals, you know, human weight. I don't know. However, we must go this way. What could be through the secret passage? Not evil. Another door. And through this door is... Evil! Oh, you're ugly. My book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. You get some red in your face there. Now oh, my sanity. Stop it, you're hurting my sanity. Ha ha. The bishop's key, we've acquired it. But we're actually meant to stab this guy. Take that, bishop! Ha ha. We'll leave it. we'll leave that guy. We'll we'll actually lose some sanity for right now. A shrine to a god that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. Evil! Alright, so he's gone. So we have a slight sandy loss. Uh, more jaundice! Well, he looks like he's decaying. Ah! No, you don't. Aha! Oh well, we'll get we'll get Sandy back, I guess. Might as well. Time to keep going back. Hiya! Hiya again! Hiya! Well, we can just chop bodies in half with this. Thing. And we'll skip the other guy just to have some more sanity loss. Just to be different. So you can see what kind of happens. Hello? What are you? What the hell is that thing? I do not remember. Ah! Whoa. Wow, what's going on? Puzzle! So I assume we have to get to the purple. Okay. A trap dimension... The, the trapper dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast. And humans are... Humans are... Subject to odd phenomenon. The portal circles from color to color as time progresses. Wait. Oh, the portal cycles from color to color as time progresses. And only the quick will escape. Let's go to the green. I know it's not the right way, but... Let's find out what happens if we explore this area. That's right, you're dead. Take that, jerk. Purple. What's this, though? Oh, it gets our sanity back. Awesome. Now we have full sanity. Will we go where I think we're going to go, or... Yes, we will. So this says escape. I remember this now. It's a trapper. Yes, those stupid little bug things on the ground. Trappers. I hate them. But once you activate them, they're gone for good. So we don't want to go there too often, because that's bad. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be any trouble. Oh.
That's right, you hear nothing. Aha, we escaped it. Devil guy! Devil? Zombie guy! Oh no, another one! But I need to pause for a second. When we come back, we'll deal with these zombies and find out what is going on in Eternal Darkness.